Hey everybody! So we're gonna be decorating my house today. Yay! So most of the stuff that I got is from the dollar store and we're gonna begin by doing just a few DIYs. I found this crow um, at the dollar store and I figured it'd be kind of cool sitting on top of something for that, you know, creepy look. The crow actually had like the little uh, metal things poking out so I just decided to uh, put that on to the pumpkin. And then the pumpkin was extremely glittery, so I decided to spray it with some hairspray to make sure um, that the glitter just kind of stayed in place. Moving along, I also bought these little tombstone things that were just a dollar, which was pretty cool. And, I mean, they're pretty cool by themselves, but I decided to spice them up a little bit. So I started off by painting the letters with a coat of glitter paint and also inside of the eyes. <laughs> then I actually just found these glitter stick gel things laying around my house so I decided to outline the letters to kind of just make them pop and give them a little bit of color. And then I also filled in the eyes. Then I took a more silvery color and just traced on the outer part of the tombstone. I would have actually done it with the purple, but I kind of ran out of it. But I feel like it looks pretty cool like that. So we're going to be starting off in my living room. Um, I'm going to be putting up a lot of web around my fireplace. So I took these little double-sided sticky pads and just kind of put them on top of the counter to put like a sticky base for the spider webs to stick. Now the trick to the web is just to keep pulling and pulling and pulling until the web kind of just becomes like, I don't know a good word for it, like extremely separated to the point where it's almost see-through rather than like completely white looking like cotton like snow for Christmas because that's not the look that you want to go for and then I basically just took it and found little places like lo little nooks like books and statues and frames and just kind of you know drag it onto the things to make it stay there And then of course you can't forget your little spiders, just place those in random little areas. Then I also decided to take these little spider cutouts that I got at the dollar store and I just put a little tape on them and just stuck them in random little places just to spice it up a little bit more. And this purple pumpkin I actually got at Target, as well as the tea lights, and I just kind of put that there just to give it a little extra something. Then I also have this uh, dead end tape that I got at the dollar store, and I just thought it'd be kind of cute to put over, you know, a mirror or something like that, because, I don't know, it would look kind of weird on like the wall or something. And then I also got these back cutouts at the dollar store and just put some tape on them and threw them all over the wall. Um, for this, I just thought this was a cute idea because, I don't know, I don't really know if people would actually eat it, but it's very festive and, um, I don't know, I just put them in like a little container that I found in my house. And the skull I actually had laying around too, which I've never really used, so I figured it'd be perfect to pull out for Halloween. Moving on to my dining room, uh, we just have this like random um, cabinet countertop kind of thing going on and we don't really have much on it so I figured it'd be a perfect little display for any kind of creative Halloween decorations. So I just threw some web over it, just still doing the whole stretching method and just kind of, uh, I actually didn't even need any of the little sticky pads, I just kind of like uh, hooked it around the corners and just tried to make it stay as much as possible. 
And then all of this stuff that was originally on the table, I just put it all back. And then I also put the tombstones there to kind of make it look like a little grave. I also took this skull that I got at the dollar store and laid it right there because it goes perfectly with the little tombstones. And my, um, I have these uh, like zombie hands and fingers and I just kind of placed those in random areas around the tombstones for a little display. Then I took some of those leftover spiders and bats and put some tape on them and just put them all around the wall. Each of the packets of bats and spiders came with about 15 of each, so it's pretty nice to, you know, I don't know, you could probably get like one or two and be able to put them all over your house. By the way, you can never go wrong with candles, so I threw a little pumpkin candle on there to kind of just set the mood. Moving on to my kitchen, um, I found these spiderweb placemats at the dollar store. Um, they also had skulls and pumpkins, but I don't know, I thought the spiderwebs were pretty cool. And then I also found this really cute broom that said Witchful Thinking, which I thought was pretty adorable. And I just hung that on a random little nail that I had hanging there by the windows. And then I also placed this, it's not really a pumpkin, I think it's called a gourd or something like that, that I got at a pumpkin patch. And I just kind of set that there with a little mini candle that I got at the dollar store, and I figured it looked pretty cool. And this was just for a little extra, you know, I don't know. This was just for uh, my cat, for her, you know, might as well let her enjoy the, the holidays too. So I hung a little black cat there that I got at the dollar store. Then with my cabinets, I decided just to put some little extra bats and spiders that I had. I didn't have very many, so I only just, I just put a few. You just gotta use what you got, guys. And then in my hallway, I decided to do a little something. Um, I got these... Spiders and pumpkins from Target, and these were actually a dollar too. Um, it's definitely easy to shop for Halloween decorations on a budget, because most of the stuff you can find for a dollar, which is pretty awesome. So I just kind of put these in a pattern on the wall, and then I also took the rest of that dead end tape that I had, and just kind of put it around the stairwell. Yay, the best part, my room. So I just took these thumbtacks and kind of placed them in an outline around the painting uh, just so that I could get like a the, like the gist of where I'd put the spider webs and then just kind of hook them onto the thumbtacks. And then I took some lights that I got at a garage sale, which were pretty awesome. I got them for a dollar. Um, and I just kind of hung those randomly. And the really cool part about the orange lights is that it casts like an orange, like, light in your room when the lights are off, so it looks pretty spooky. And then you can't forget your little spiders that come in the little package with the spider webs. And then I also hung this um, spider web garland that I got from Target and that was also a dollar. And this is a little sign that I got at the dollar store. And that pretty much concludes my DIY decorating on a budget. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.